let's talk about our Q series line of products. We previously covered all the nine series. Q series is a little bit different for a couple different reasons. One is 24 volt DC, and plus this is a four wire system as well. Yeah, the major difference is with the nine series, all the intelligence is in the light. There's some intelligence in the transformer as well, hosting the schedules and things. The transformer is communicating over the power wires to the lights and the lights can determine what to do based on that communication. These lights are more, they don't have any intelligence in the lights. And so all the intelligence are in the controllers and we'll go over the controllers in a minute, but all the intelligence are in the controllers. And so the, the controllers are actually varying voltage on the four different wires to drive the different colors. So that's really the major difference. So we have an array of all of our Q-Series lights. Um, there's a couple accessory products that we'll talk about in addition to these because they are important as well. The brains behind the Q-Series are we have, we carry three controllers right now. So one is called a Q-Series Mini. This is a one zone controller. So this can handle up to 96 watts of lights. We have our Q-Series Duo that is a two zone controller. So you can have two different colors in the outputs. Uh, we've got light, that light A and light B. So those are controlling two different zones. You'll have two different controls in the app. And this can control up to 240 watts of lights. And then we also have a, a Q-Series Outdoor Mini. So it's the same product as the Q-Series Mini, but the Q-Series Outdoor Mini is in an outdoor enclosure. It saves you have to buy a, an outdoor rated box or anything like that. It's a nice clean package. Everything's all in one. And then the power supply is integrated as well. So it's just, it's just a regular plug coming out of it. So those are the three controllers that exist. Getting them online and everything is exactly the same as we did with the 9 series. So you don't really need to go over that. It's add device and walking through that process. And the controllers the, in the system knows what device it is, so it'll figure that out for you. One quick note on the controllers too. You have two ports on each mini. Uh, you have four ports um, on the Duo. So two ports per zone. Now a common question we get a lot of times is being able to put, can you put the entire capacity on one zone? And the answer is no. So it needs to be a split. So it's 240 watt controller. You can get 120 watts on each zone. I think most of you are probably familiar with the landscape lighting stuff and, and circuit breakers. If you short out the wires on a Q-Series product, there's fuses inside that will blow. There are spare fuses in the in, Very in the lids of each of these products. So they are there in the case that you blow a fuse, there are spare fuses in all of the products mm -hmm. as well. So there's actually video that we'll put in the university to show you uh, how to change out the fuses mm -hmm. as well. The pair button on the, on the controllers works the same as the button on the nine series to reset the product. It will also pair a switch. So that's one of the accessories that we have, a wireless wall switch. And we probably will have a video on mm -hmm. that as well on, on some cool things that we do to mount those, to integrate them so they look seamless yep. into the home. So these can be controlled by your app or with a wireless switch. The wireless switch is purchased extra. Well, and that's handy too. It gives you another source of control. If you quickly would just want to hit the yeah. on or on, you can adjust the color and the brightness and white temperature as well from that wall switch but it will work up to 500 feet yep. away uh, from, from the controller, which is nice. So a lot of times these will be outside, the switch will be in your kitchen, mm -hmm. you're hitting it and, and, and it typically will work just fine. So let's go over some, some of the products that are on the table here. So these are, these are what we call deck lights. So these are made to, to, to do decks. They, they also have been used a lot on docks. Mm -hmm. We've got black and we've got stainless steel. We've got a glare guard version of both and a non glare guard version of both. We've got a deck post light. So these are made to mount vertically like this on a post and shine down. These come in black and in white. So powder coated black, powder coated white. All of these products come with an extension cable. So it's a plug and play cable. Another accessory that we have is lots of different accessory kits that come with splitters, one to five connectors. So if you're, doing, cable. if you're doing yep. some steps and you've got a bunch of wire in one spot, you can use a one to five different lengths of cable. They can also integrate with our, and we'll get to it next, our Bistro lighting extension cables where we've got an adapter. So if you're doing a big deck or are a long way from the controller, mm -hmm. you'll want to use the Bistro light extension cable and then a reducer to get down to the deck light wire when appropriate. So if you have any questions on that, you can give us a call because that can get that can get a little complicated. But rule of thumb, 
if your controller is pretty close to your deck, you can you can typically stick with just the deck lighting accessories and the cables. If it's more than 20 lights and or you're going a long way, you're gonna to wanna to switch over to the Bistro, which is just a bigger wire extension set and then a reducer to get you yep. down to the cable once you get where yep. you're going. All right, let's talk about Bistros. So uh, these are full color, also run on the Q series. These are cool. These are used in a lot of restaurants. These are used in a lot of bars, yeah. rooftop stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, I've got them in my backyard. They're they're really, really nice and, and really fun to play with. Mm -hmm. This is a plug and play system as well. Available for purchase are the, all the extension cables and extension sets of different sizes. These come in two and a half feet, five feet, and 15, 15 feet. feet. So the two and a half footer is a one bulb strand. So there is no need to cut wire, no need to splice wire, everything is plug and play. So you can get down to the one bulb set and, and have it have it the ideal length, whatever you need. And the measurements between each bulb will be equal as you connect the cables to. Correct, correct. So yeah, the distances as you connect the cable, the distances will like be exactly light. correct. Mm -hmm. The extension cables that come with this are 25 feet, five feet, and one foot. We have people using the one footers, for example, if they're in a pergola or something like that, and they've got a light strand hanging, and then they want to wrap around on the side of the pergola and start back, they'll use a one foot extension in between and go mm -hmm. and go that direction. Clearly, if you need two feet or three feet, you just use multiple one footers. And but it's meant not to make any cuts, not have to make any cuts, not have to make any do connections. Do not, do yeah. not, do not. Yeah, do please not. don't. You will save yourself lots of time and headache if you just use the plug and play methodology. It seems like you can save a little bit of money trying to do it the other way. <laughs> I promise you, at, at the, in the long run, you will not save yeah. money. So that's the Bistro lighting set. We have one to three adapters. So if you want to split and you know have three strands coming off one port, go check out our website and check out all the adapters because there's tons of there's tons of adapters for all the different all the different applications of the Bistro lights. Yeah, I think a common question too is how many Bistro lights you can get on a run, how many deck lights you can get on a run, all of that. That information is available as well on our website, so check that out and, and um, you can see a listing of, of you know what you're able to handle for the capacity. Strips. Yes. So very, very popular. Biased, of course, but really the best RGB strips mm -hmm. on the market. They're, they are yep. the brightest. They're, we get comments all the time mm -hmm. after people use them, they're like, holy cow, mm -hmm. these are great. Yep. And they really mm -hmm. are. So these come in lots of sizes, four foot, eight foot, 12, 16, 24, and 32. Mm -hmm. They come with wire, 15 foot of wire already on them, so you can get the connection where you need. They also come with this um, protection piece here. To, so the most, the most vulnerable part of any strip is where the wire is soldered to the strip. And we make sure that we protect that very, very, very well. Mm -hmm. So one of the other things that you'll notice uh, the first time you use the strip is they are durable. Yep. They are in a silicone sleeve filled with a silicone epoxy inside. And so very sturdy, very durable. You can feel the difference of the strip when you, when you get it. We've actually done some videos in the past where we've taken a razor blade, cut the outer jacket of the strips, stuck it in a bucket of water, and it still works because of the filling that's inside. So we've also driven a car over the strip. Yeah. So very durable strips. Just one thing to note, they bend this way. They do not bend side to side. We've had some people that bend them around corners. If the radius is really big, you can actually get that done. We've got people doing it, but you have to be very, very careful. We, we recommend not doing it because you will, you can ultimately just tear the strip by, by bending it side to side. It will not be under warranty if you, if you, if you go that direction. Yeah. So typically these strips are mounted to in an extrusion. So if you, if you have a porous surface underneath maybe a capstone or, or anything that's not a smooth metal surface, we recommend using the extrusion. So it gives you that surface that's that easily bonded to. The strips do come with a double-sided tape. It's a 3M outdoor rated tape, very strong. Once it's once it's set, it's really it's really kind of hard to, to pull off. But uh, the extrusions allow that surface to mount it. Plus the extrusions themselves come with a diffuser lens and it kind of softens that glow too and it cleans up the entire look. Yep. The other thing is with the tape on the back, what we have found is that the longer the strip is up, the harder it is to get off. So mm -hmm. if you put it up and five minutes later you want to take it down, that's fairly easy. That'll come off pretty well. But if it's been up for a month, it's on there. Yep. Strips are cuttable every six inches too, Good by point. the way. Good yep. point. 
We get a lot of questions on connectors and connecting strips together. Again, we've had people do it where you can get them on Amazon, the little connectors and things like that. We do not recommend it. And the people that have done it, it ultimately Fails. end up having problems yep. because it's, it's a cheap connector and it, it just doesn't work very well. We get asked if you can daisy chain them, and the answer is no, we don't let you daisy chain them. There's multiple reasons for that. One is that all the soldering and connections is done here, which which is, we and we test it, and mm -hmm. make sure that it's, it's good quality. Mm -hmm. The other reason that we don't let you daisy chain them is that if you go too far, over 32 feet, you can start to change, the colors will start to change because of the voltage drop down the strip. So that 32 feet is, is set because of the voltage drop happening over the strip and the colors will, you'll notice a difference in colors, especially in the warm whites, you'll notice a difference at the end of, if you go farther than that, at the end of one versus, versus the beginning. Mm -hmm. I think it's important too to note with daisy chaining and that's meaning not necessarily the, the length of the run. You can connect multiple strips on the run However, I think by the daisy chaining, you're unable to connect pieces of strip to other pieces of strip Correct. more than 32 feet. Correct, so Just this would be wired exactly like you would wire landscape lighting. Mm -hmm. So you'd have a trunk line, these would, these would connect to the trunk line. A lot of times if we have to go like 64 feet or whatever, we're putting the two wires together and, and that way we've got one junction. You can also put the two wires at the end so you don't have this connection piece, you know, gap in the middle. So there's lots of ways to do it. You can connect multiple strips to a trunk line, mm -hmm. just not sure. strip to strip. Exactly. Yep. Yep. And lastly, our capstone light, full color capstone light works, works Great really, light. really well. Quick change, so it's got a connector built inside. That'll be a video that's on the uh, that's on the university as well to show you how to change these out. But the reason for that is that if you ever have a problem with the light, we don't want you popping capstones or anything like that. Matter of fact, we just got some back from a customer where they clearly yep. cut out the plate and pop, <laughs> I, I, I don't understand why. But all you have to do, two screws, this pops off, undo the undo the light, put the replacement on, and, and it's literally very 45 easy. seconds. Yep. Comes with 15 feet foot of wire as well. Very, very durable wire, so this is per cable, and this is meant to go under capstone. So if you drop a capstone on it, it won't crush it or anything like that. So very durable wire. We also have a 45 foot adapter because we don't want you put the, putting those connections inside walls or in places where you can't get them. Mm -hmm. Every customer that has has regarded it. Just like you do for code uh, for your house where all the connections that you wire up cannot have to be accessible by code. Same thing for outside lighting. Mm -hmm. Have all your connections sure. accessible. They do it for a reason. And the reason is if there's ever a problem, you can, you can fix it. So, one of the options, 45 foot, in case you have to go really far to get under a patio or something like that. Let's talk about the wiring itself. <clears throat> okay. Uh, four wire system, like we mentioned. Um, one thing to note, we get questions all the time too. Please know that black is your common, and you're gonna see this on the port of, of each controller as well. So you're gonna put it in order where black is your common. After that, everything's just gonna fall in place. Red matches red, green matches green. The tricky part and the question that we get a lot of times is what do we do with this yellow wire, yeah. right? The yellow wire is gonna act as your blue, okay? Now we don't manufacture the wire, Correct. So, so we don't have a choice as to what options are available as far as the conductor goes. And so instead of putting a yellow on the controller, that was confusing people as well. If we had your common red, green, and yellow, that really didn't make sense. We make all the colors out of red, green, and blue. Even our whites are manufactured out of those three primary colors, right? Um, so we just wanted to make sure that, that you knew what order of, of wire. Yes, if the strip is very, very dim and kind of on a red color when you try to turn it on, very dim, you probably have black and yellow switch. That happens a lot. Somebody says that, you know, out of the box it doesn't work or it's extremely dim, black and yellow is usually, usually how you how you fix that switch those two now if you hook it up backwards you can't hurt anything it's just not going to turn on right. so you won't damage the, the strip you won't damage the controller you can hook it up any which way it won't damage anything it just won't work mm -hmm. properly yeah too and we'll have videos as well but also note that the wiring is a little bit more tedious to cut when you strip it it's very easy to nick those conductors so please keep in mind you know when you're making your connections that there aren't any nicks in the cable and to make sure to seal all that wire and those connections really well, that keeps from further problems down the road with corrosion. Yeah, so one of the accessories that we highly, highly, highly recommend is our junction box 
that is for that purpose because we were getting a lot of people that were stripping back the outer jacket, slicing into the insulation on the wire, burying the connection, and then three months later, they've got corroded wire yeah. and it's not working. So we've got an outdoor junction box, please use it. Again, you will save time and money in the long run by using it. Where you strip this outer jacket back, just make sure that is in inside the junction box. And so even if you nick the wire, it's not in the ground and it's not getting wet. It's not getting, it's not gonna corrode. I'm gonna share my screen too, real quick. So notice here after the, the Q-Series controller, it's added to the same system as, as our non-series transformers and all these other lights. Out of the box, it'll give you the name of the light. So it's just a, what's the F480? It's F480. What, what is that number? <laughs> Why do they do that? I think it's the, and it lasts for the MAC address okay, actually of gotcha. the controller. So out of the box, you'll be able to, once it's the controller's gotten online, you can go in and edit the name. So if you wanted to call this, you know, your, your back porch lights or whatever, yeah. you can click on edit light and then here's the edit screen. And, you can and it's rename much it nicer for the customer yeah. if you rename it. Perfect. So, and again, you can move this around if you want to. So uh, long hold and you can move it wherever you want. And it'll work with all of the landscape lights. So we'll show you that integration to where the control of this light and the landscape lights and all of these lights can all be coordinated. We're gonna show you that in the next, next video.